Hey guys, what's up? It's Danielle. So welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have another cash envelope stuffing for you. And this one is a little different because I'm going to be showing you a new purse. This is the last of my birthday gifts to myself, which if you guys saw my last couple of videos, you know I did get myself a new wallet. So this was all I got for myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have misplaced my coin purse again, but I managed to scrounge up the change that was rolling around in my purse. So this is what we're working with for the last week or so. And I actually had my cat neutered, Baki, my youngest cat. I had him neutered yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I had to pay for that. And he got his rabies shots, you know, all that good stuff. So ended up being like almost 200 bucks, but a lot cheaper than the, I think it was like 500 that I was quoted going through an actual like normal vet. I honestly just took him to the, like the local humane society. So very, very glad I got that squared away, but I only have like $5, $5 left in my food envelope because I wasn't anticipating having to pay for a cone. I don't know why it slipped my mind. I don't know why I thought that they would give me one, but yeah, I had to pay $10 for a cone. Otherwise, I would have had 15 left over instead of five. But honestly, it's not the end of the world. You know, I'm not like super bothered by that. So now in emergency, I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. So still a little ways away from another hundred, but that's okay. You know, things happen. You get thrown curveballs and it's okay. So right now, Baki is recovering and he's hopped up on pain meds. He's in his little cone of shame. He looks so cute. He actually slept next to me on the couch the whole night because I, I don't think he's feeling that good. You know, he's never been away from me for like any amount of time unless I've been at work since he was a baby. So yeah, but I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. So gas, I don't have any money in there just because I did spend that yesterday. I was doing quite a bit of driving because it's like a half hour for me to get to um, the Humane Society from my house. So I did a little bit of driving there and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I might have to refill my tank sooner than I had originally anticipated, but I think that's okay. You know, it's life, whatever. But since this is the week of Thanksgiving, I have three days off instead of just my normal two. So I think I can save, oh God, no, you're not supposed to jump. Baby cat, you're not supposed to jump. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I didn't think you would do that. He's having issues with this cone. All right. Come here, baby. Let me move that. There you go. Now you can see. There you go. Um, But, yeah. I didn't think that that would be a thing. So, whatever. Oops. No, no, no. no. You got to stop running all over the place, baby. You're not supposed to jump. Okay, hang on. Let me take care of him for a second. Or Okay, he's going to stay up here. He just, he can't navigate with the cone yet. Still, still on his first day and he's hopped up on pain meds. So, no, you're just going to sit there. Okay, he just wants to be near his mommy. Okay, excuse me. Let me just move this out of your way. Okay, you all right, Bubba? Okay. So yeah, like I said, three days off for Thanksgiving and hopefully I can get away 
with not filling my gas envelope till next week. So fingers crossed for that. But everything else, you know, obviously we got to got to do what we got to do. So I'm probably, I think I'm going to have to, I got a little bit of time, but I'm definitely going to have to get more cash out pretty soon. I do get my review pretty soon and I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what's been happening at work, but things have been getting really spicy and it's not anything that I've done. It's actually my boss that's the problem. So long story short, uh, I don't think I'm going to have the same boss for the foreseeable future. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, there's other things that I've been told, <clears throat> excuse me, that are in the works, but I don't want to share that just yet. So anyways, let's get to the actual point of this video, which is, you know, cash. So I was thinking I'm going to do kind of like a supplementary grocery haul today and then Tuesday, I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab like whatever little things I need because I think it would be even more insane if I go there on Tuesday and try to like grab stuff. Although, you know, I can just, you know, I, I'm just going to, I keep thinking that it's like the whole weekend I can't buy anything because it's Thanksgiving, but can definitely go get stuff next Friday. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to do my thing. So for groceries, two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So I have about $130 left before, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to go and take more cash out, which is fine with me. So that's going directly in my food envelope because I got to go buy food today. I am still planning on using the food that I have like in my freezer. And oh, here, let me move this for you, baby. There you go. Can you see out the window? Oh, <laughs> excuse me. But yeah, that is my plan. I actually didn't make any food last week because I was exhausted. So I basically was just living off of Cliff Bars and Almonds. Food champions right there. <clears throat> excuse me. But yeah, so I am going to be... I think I mentioned this to you guys. I'm going to be driving down to Houston for Christmas to see my family. And I am kind of curious to see how much that's going to cost. My mom was nice enough to say that she would pay for a hotel for me. So I don't have to worry about that. But, you know, paying for gas to get down there, I'll be okay. It's just, uh I'm already tired thinking about it. So, honestly, the food envelope is all that I'm going to stuff for this week. Because I still have plenty of pine pellets for my cats. I already talked about gas with you guys. Household, I actually am thinking about doing away with my household envelope. Just because, first of all, I don't use it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And second of all... You know, I don't need that much as far as household stuff is concerned. So I just buy it when I buy my groceries. So I think we're just, we're going to retire that. And it's going to make my wallet a little bit skinnier. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to take out spending as well. So it's getting thinner. But... Yeah, so 
Now, on to what I think is the exciting part. Watch out, baby. Okay. Ooh, there we go. There you go, baby. Now you can be a little bit more comfortable. Okay. So, the fact that this is considered vintage now makes me feel a million times older than I already did. And... I think the last thing we're going to do is we're going to recount what I have in emergency. But anyways, I got this off of eBay. I have been eyeing this for quite some time, like at least for more than half of this year. And I can't really zoom out any further, but this is what the bag looks like. It's very much like a satchel kind of deal. This is actually an old coach purse from 1998 and it's called the Willis. So I'm sure you guys have noticed by now that I'm a huge like purse connoisseur and I loved this the second I saw it because it just looks so classic. I think my mom had one that was similar when I was a kid, but I just didn't know what was going on. So it has like the classic turn lock and I did recondition the leather like right after I got it in the mail. Oh my God, he's trying to jump. There you go, baby. But yeah, I did recondition this like right after I got it just to kind of help protect it and clean the leather. But it's just, it's so cute. Oh my God. So there's a slip pocket in the front and then there's the main pocket in here I just have sunglasses a pad my keys and then i also have my everyday carry knife and my wallet fits in there super nicely then on the back there's also a slip pocket where i usually will put my phone but Honestly, probably one of the best Christmas presents I've ever gotten myself. And I'm being honest when I say that. So, anyways. Ew. Okay, there we go. All right. So, last thing that I want to do, because I can't remember, is I want to count this. And this is my emergency fund. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily use this to go home to Houston just because it's kind of like robbing Peter to pay Paul. So, I mean, it's all my money. It's just for whatever reason, like I freak out if I have a certain amount in my accounts and I think everybody is probably like that. I don't know. So anyways, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19. So I only have $2.99 in here. I thought there was supposed to be 300 but I'm not going to recount this right now. So, <laughs> but yeah, so... We'll see what happens with that because, you know, can always restart in the new year. It's just I would like to be above, <clears throat> excuse me, 300 for my cash emergency fund for once. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I got to I got to go take care of my little conehead baby. But I hope you guys all have a great Thanksgiving and I 
I'm going to talk to you guys in the next video about some other challenges I'm planning on doing next year. Maybe we can do them together or whatever. But yeah, I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving and thank you all so much for watching. I love you all and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys.